Okay, this is example 11 in our sequences and series topic. We're looking at geometric series and sequences. Here we've got a geometric series, um, and it's interesting because it's expressed in powers of five. So it's expressed in a slightly different way. We're told that the sum of this series is 97,655. So what's n? How many terms do we have in that series? So interestingly, um, we can say that a, a first term is uh, 5, so we can write down a equals 5. What about the, the common ratio? Um, well, uh, r is a common ratio. We can get that by dividing the second term by the first. Clearly, it, because it is powers of 5, you're going to find out that it is just 5. But if you want to be sure, we can write it out as 5 squared to the second term divided by the first one or second term, third term divided by the second 25 divided by 5 is 5, okay? Um, what have we got? We don't know what n is. We're trying to work that one out, so I'm going to say that as my question mark. And we've got a total here, 97,000 odd. So we can say that the sum, Sn, is equal to 97655. So I'm going to use a formula uh, connected to that, uh, sum to n terms. So we've got Sn, sum of n terms. The ratio is 5, which is greater than 1. So I'm going to write down the form of the sum formula, for which is easier to use when r is greater than 1. And that's got r at the start. So r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Uh, I'm going to substitute in. I've got the answer this time. I've got Sn, so I'm going to write that in on... At the right hand side. Um, in fact, I'm going to put it on the, I'm going to make it uh, equal on the right hand side this time. So I've got A is 5, I've got R, which is also 5 to the n minus 1, divided by R, which is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4, and the answer is 97655. Okay, what can we do? We can multiply both sides by 4. And that uh, gives us uh, 5 times 5n minus 1 um, is, uh, what do we see? 97655 5 multiplied by 4 gives us 3. 90620. We could divide by 5. You could have done that in one go. And we end up with 5n minus 1 is equal to 78124. 78,124. One extra thing we could do, we can just add 1 to both sides. And that leaves us with 5 to the n is equal to 78,125. So we've got 5 to the n. We want to solve for n. n is, uh, is our wee index here. So in order to solve it, we're going to introduce uh, some logs. We want to take the natural log of both sides. So we can say the natural log of 5 to the n is equal to the natural log of 78,125. We can use the log rules which say that the index becomes the multiplier at the front. So n times log of 5 is equal to log 78,125. So in order to get n, what I need to do is do the calculation. Log of 78,125 divided by the log of 5, which actually works out as 7. So in other words, there are 7 terms in the series in order to get a sum of 97,655. OK, I hope that's been helpful. Um, we can go on and keep working through some of our uh, sequences in the series. We're going to have a look next at the sum to infinity of a geometric series, which is quite exciting. Okay, so we'll go and practice some more of that.